Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to our Wednesday night uh, Bible devotion. I uh, just want to say, hey, see how you're doing. Are you all tired of this cool weather? Well, I am, but don't don't worry about it. You know what? I hear all this stuff on TV about this climate change stuff. Well, you know what? It came up on my Facebook memories uh, last year uh, that we had snow on the ground up in Canaan, and a few years ago, I was actually wiping the snow off my windshield at work. So this is not unusual. Uh, it happens. You know what? The Lord's in control of the weather. So don't let the media tell you all the lies about the climate change and all this stuff going on. Hey, the weather is the weather. It is what it is. We're, we're going to be all right. Okay. So uh, I got a couple of prayer uh, requests and a couple of things I want to remind you about. Uh, first off, uh, this Saturday coming up. Uh, there is a benefit for Wallace Hart. Uh, if you remember, and uh, I put on here uh, a while back, he had a tree fall over and hit him in the head, and he had serious uh, issues, and the family is in dire need of uh, financial help. So there is a benefit going on this Saturday from 3 to 6 at the Slainsville Ruerton uh place down there in Slainsville and they're going to have a live auction. I think they're having spaghetti dinner. I'm not sure exactly what they're having, but I heard, I heard spaghetti. If you uh, want to go get something to eat and at the same time benefit uh, the family, that would be great if you get down there and, and do that. Also, the Glenn Reiner Memorial is this Saturday from uh, starts at three o'clock in uh, Martinsburg at the Brown Funeral Home. Uh, we're going to be doing that. We're going to try to live stream it. I don't know what their uh, capability of doing that is, but uh, if you get a chance and you want to go for a ride and, and support them, uh, uh, you can do that and come to Martinsburg. It'll be at the Brown Funeral Home starting at 3 o'clock. Uh, please keep uh, Doris and Nancy and the family in your prayer as uh, we do that Saturday. And also, uh, Camp Galilee up in Terralda. Uh Elizabeth and Josh Harold will be up there working. They're up there every weekend uh, working. They need help. So if you're bored and you feel like giving them a hand, they're trying to get the camp in order this year so they can have camp for the kids. Uh, and they need help. So drive one up to Camp Galilee and get a shovel or rake or your cleaning stuff and help them clean up the kitchen and the cabins and whatever they have going on up there. They are also in dire need of counselors. And if this is something you may be interested in, uh, let me know and I'll give you the information and a contact phone number. You can also get a hold of uh, uh, Thelma uh, here at the church and she can give you, she's done this before and she knows all about that. Other prayer list, uh, let's see who we got here. Uh, we got a Gerald uh, McAvoy who has blockages in his heart. You want to remember him in your prayers. Um, Bobby Rexroad, who has the place out here on Dry Run Road, he needs a triple bypass. So keep him in your prayers if you would. Um, Mary Miller is in the hospital. Uh, she fell and broke. Uh, uh, her bones. I'm not sure exactly um, what she broke, but uh, she's in uh, PVH, and uh, we brought her up yesterday at church. I heard her pelvis, and someone else said a femur. Whatever it is, uh, it's not good. So keep uh, Mary Miller in your prayers. And I could go on and go on and go on and go on with prayer list, um, but uh, you can look at them on our beaver run church of the brethren and friends website we have uh, or a facebook page i should say we got several people that are in desperate need of prayer right now so how y'all doing uh, i trust you're doing okay uh, just got this little devotion i want to read if you have an upper room you will see that uh, today's reading comes out of isaiah chapter 20 verses 1 through 6 and I just want to talk on that for a moment. I'll read the first paragraph of this and you can read the rest for yourself. But it says, God tells the prophet Isaiah to remove his clothes 
and his sandals and walk around naked for three years. Did you know that was in the Bible? <laughs> yeah, it was a drastic and visual message to Israel of the shame they would experience if they didn't listen to God's direction. Well, Isaiah listened to God and he took action. You know, I'm, I'm thankful that God doesn't tell me that because I think if God would tell me to remove my clothes and walk around naked for three years, number one, I'd be in jail. And number two, there would probably be a, a lot of laughing going on. So we, we wouldn't want that. But the point of the thing is, the message is to get us to listen to God. But if you're like me and you're like a lot of people, your uh, time with God to listen is uh, pretty much slim to none. We are so busy with doing activities and uh, going to work and putting up with the kids and and this and that, <clears throat> that the only time that we have time for God is uh, before we go to bed, you might say a prayer before you go to sleep. But, uh, you know, God wants us all to take time, time away from your spouse, from your kids, from your work, and just to get alone with him. This, is, this should be something that we all do on a daily basis, and I'm guilty of it. And you might say, well, yeah, well, you're a pastor. This is your job now. There's some truth to that, and I'm ashamed to say it. But uh, see, I'm forced to get alone with God now. That shouldn't be the norm. We all should find that time to get away with God and to, uh, to pray, to seek his face, see what he wants us to do. You know, a lot of times God wants us to make that phone call. He wants us to visit that person. He wants you to call and give someone a, a, a little word of encouragement. And uh, we don't do it because we're not listening to his voice. And uh, if we would just take the time, and it doesn't have to be hours a day. It can just be a few moments to where you sit alone with God and, and we need to shut our mouth, open our ears, and listen to what God has to say, because he's got something for all of us to do. Uh, I'm reminded of this story, and I've, I've looked it up. It's in 1 Kings, and it's Elijah. Uh, and it says that uh, you, you've heard this before about God speaking through the storm, and he wasn't there. Let me read it. It's in uh, 1 Kings chapter 19, and I'll start in verse uh, 11. The Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire came a gentle whisper. When Elijah heard it, he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave. Then the voice said to him, what are you doing here, Elijah? And the story goes on. The point of the story is that God was not in all the noise. God was in the quietness. And a lot of times God wants to speak to you when things are quiet. You know, when you go anywhere right now, you can't even go to the gas pumps without the music blaring. You can't go into a, a person's house that they don't have the TV on or the radio on or the noise is just constantly being thrown at us. And a lot of times God won't speak to us until we get alone and get with him in the quietness uh, of, our, of our heart and our mind and we speak to him. And that's what he wants you to do. Get alone with him, just you and him, and listen to what he's got to say. Um, I've been guilty of it many times. Uh, we go out and we get involved in all kinds of activities and uh, days turn into weeks. And before you know it, uh, you have forgot to take the time to listen to God. That's why he gives us a Sabbath rest. One of the reasons is a day, just a day a week, just to reflect on God's mercies and to listen to the voice of God and just take a day and just worship him. But if we would just take a few minutes every day 
to start out and listen to the Lord and see what he wants you to do today. When you wake up in the morning, instead of just jumping out of bed, take five minutes, lay there in bed and say, Lord, I give you this day. What do you want me to do with it? Who do you want me to talk to? What do you want me to do today? I think it would change our lives. Um, I'm trying to get into that habit and not just jumping out of the bed and, and going about my daily routine. Um, it'll change your life. That's what we need to do. So that's my advice for today. And that's uh, my reading for today. Uh, you don't want to wait until there's shame going on as in Isaiah's day. Uh, you don't listen to God. Things will happen. And the reason we don't listen because we don't take the time to listen. So with that, let's pray and uh, we'll go on. How's that? Lord, we come to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, our personal Lord and Savior. We pray that everyone out there listening knows you as Lord and Savior. And Lord, just help us to find that time alone with you, Father. You died not just so we wouldn't go to hell, but you died so that we could have a relationship with you. And Lord, we can't have a relationship if we don't stop and listen. So Lord, give us uh, the understanding and the time and remind us, Lord, that you want to talk to us on a very intimate level, that you care for us, that you love us, and you want to have a relationship with us. Lord, the ones that we talked about on the prayer list, we just ask you to be with them in a mighty way. Touch them, Lord, in Jesus' name, and heal them according to your will. And we just thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, I hope you all have a great day. I want to remind you, if you don't have a church, uh, we would love to, for you to come visit us at Beaver Run. Uh, we're still doing great. No COVID cases as of yet, and pray we don't get any. Uh, we're going to start relaxing those uh, mask mandate. Uh, I hear that uh, Mineral County is in the green, and our governor has said June 20th we can remove them. And uh, he's going to remove the mask mandate, whatever that is. So we are uh, going to be cautious, but we're going to use common sense, and we want to see everyone get back in church. We've got too used to sitting at home and having church. God didn't call us to do that. He says, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves as some has done. So get back to church. And if it's not our church, find a church, get involved. And uh, it's the only thing that's going to change this country is if we uh, turn, repent to God, uh, get back to church, and we start healing our families uh, the way God intended. So we love you guys. And uh, we will be talking to you soon. Uh, don't forget to check out our Facebook page, Beaver Run Church of the Brethren, and the other one at Beaver Run Church of the Brethren and Friends. We also have a YouTube uh, page, uh, a site. Uh, you can look on there and just type in uh, Beaver Run Church of the Brethren, and you can watch all of our church services on your smart TV as well. So. We look forward to seeing you and uh, God bless you and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.